AT40 originates in Hollywood. Well, now we're up to the latest hit by a man who grew up in much the same way as the Bee Gees, Andy Gibb, and Olivia Newton-John, living part of his youth in Australia and part in England. In the case of Rick Springfield, he was born in Australia, then moved to England when he was nine and back to Australia at age 12. And it was in Australia that Rick had his first hit records. These days, his latest hit in America is at number 31 in our survey. Rick Springfield with I've Done Everything For You. The American Top 40 survey of the year's biggest hits continues. I'm Casey Kasem, counting down the year's top 100 hits. Now, we're up to one of those big hits from movie soundtracks. This one's from the movie that introduced Rick Springfield as a leading man. It's called Hard to Hold. And Rick played a rock star who falls in love with a woman who teaches disturbed children. Rick's problem is that she can't stand rock and roll. Coming in at number 63 for the year, here's Rick Springfield. Love Somebody. American Top 40. These are the hits ranked by Billboard magazine. Now, we're up to the story of the sex symbol turned house husband. The man who went from posing and pouting to diapers and dishes is 38-year-old Rick Springfield. You probably remember a few years ago when Rick's career was really flying. On the charts, he had hit after hit. On TV, he was a heartthrob as the suave and sensitive Dr. Noah Drake on the soap opera General Hospital. Then, in 1984, Rick moved up into movies. In Hard to Hold, that was the name of the picture, he starred as a rock star sex symbol, a part he didn't have to do too much research for. So by 1985, after working nonstop for years, Rick had built himself quite a resume. But that furious pace also took its toll. It all got to be too much. He says, I just wanted to collapse at that point. I was tired of touring, acting, and recording. I got to where I didn't want to do anything, so I didn't. I decided to hang out at home. End of quote. At about this time, Rick and his wife, Barbara, had a baby, a son named Liam. So since husband Rick was hanging out at home, he became a house husband. Rick helped take care of Liam, changing diapers, midnight feedings, also ran the house, cleaning, doing the dishes, picking up the groceries. And Rick was perfectly happy doing this. He had no burning desire to get back into the entertainment business. But after about two years of domestic bliss, Rick got an unexpected creative surge. You see, he'd been singing lullabies at night to Liam to get him to go to sleep. And just for fun, Rick composed a few lullabies himself. Then he says, quote, other songs just started coming. All the changes I'd gone through were suddenly right in front of me. The songs came from that. And that's what the album's about. End of quote from Rick Springfield, the house husband who rediscovered music by writing and singing lullabies for his son, Liam. Here he is at number 22 with a song that isn't putting anybody to sleep. Rick Springfield's Rock of Life. Casey's Coast to Coast. Radio plays them, media base 24-7 ranks them, and we count them down. Well, now we're up to an American Top 20 Extra by Rick Springfield, a star who found fame on a TV soap opera and who just may become a soap opera star again. Australian Rick Springfield is an artist who keeps having one career after another. First, he was a star in his homeland as part of the band Zoot. Then in 1972, he hit big with the solo song Speak to the Sky. Then Rick signed on as Dr. Noah Drake on the hit soap opera General Hospital, where he spent two years. In the 80s, he hit with songs like Jesse's Girl, I've Done Everything for You, and Don't Talk to Strangers. Rick hasn't had a big hit since the late 80s, but he keeps on putting out albums. And he spent two years starring in the Las Vegas production of FX at the MGM Grand. And to bring things full cycle, Rick's talking to the producers of the soap opera As the World Turns about signing on as a regular. Now with an American Top 20 Extra, here's Rick with a smash from 1981, Jesse's Girl. Jesse is a friend. Yeah, I know he's been a good friend of mine. But lately something's changed, it ain't hard to define Jesse's got himself a girl and I wanna make her mine The hits from coast to coast 